back, everyone. Ewok Templar, Marathon. I have forgotten everything. <laughs> I think Durandil kidnapped us again, right? And we were solving demon puzzles? Oh, blessed be the ones! Those guys are rough. No machine gun ammo. There's no way to get over there. Hold on. Map says there's something there. Is it invisible? Is there a button that has to be pushed? Well, let's look at the map again. If I go back... Yeah, we didn't go the other direction, so this is a good idea. Oh. God. Lord Almighty. They're not tough, there's just so many of them. Well, I mean, to be fair, the bugs actually do a decent amount of damage. I think if you get hit directly by that little splooge attack, it does like three bars. Okay. There's something over there. There's also something up there. That doesn't help us at all, does it? Huh. If there was a crouch fun function, then, um, uh, maybe I would, um, uh, see what it's trying to put down. I seem to be dying. So this can't be right, right? A few moments later. Waiting for it. Hmm. Well, if that's not it, then what? Two thousand years later. It's gotta be something else, right? Otherwise, it'd be kind of stupid. Hmm. got in here that's good is this what I was supposed to do I mean I'm over here now <laughs> Progress is made! No! No! Why would you fling me into that? There's something over there? Am I supposed to run through this?
We'll find out the hard way, I guess. Looks like that lava pool does have something going around back there, but it looks like you just die because it just leads you to that other room. So I guess another way up was to run through the lava. Which honestly, very counterintuitive. Interesting choice. Oh, good. So is, is it going to stay up? Because it flipped back. I'm going to assume... Oh. Why would you want to get rid of it? Wait a minute. Alright, sorry everyone, I just had to experiment with it. We have to wait for the entire thing to go back down. I flip this, it comes back up automatically. Okay. Wait, that was all that was down there? No, I just gotta go out there and figure it out. Really hope that stays up. Running problems. All right, now what do you want me to do? Okay, if you run, if you run out, you get it. Okay, that is trippy. It doesn't look like it would work, but then it does. Alright, first things first. Very happy that the grenade jump was a solution. Alright. Since you're part of them in that room. Good thing there's nothing floating right there. guys fly lower? Am I supposed to get the ammo that's down there? Also, looks like I'm supposed to go over there. To grab whatever that is. Alright. Looks like I am gonna have to do some more grenade jumping. Although I don't like what I'm seeing here. So what, I beeline it to this thing? To talk to Terrendell. Warning, transmission may not be complete. Your last mission was a success, but I have terrible news. Ver a paragram not a nautical redef redefined uh, Efenders reported. Seeing the aliens moving, a large cylindrelic object we have is a seven Melonair Recon number 54 must stop them from exploding, igniting, blowing up er, it, the S, full space, computer, or plant exterm. Sword roll, roll and transfer. Data transfer success, routing. 
Uh, something transfer partial computer relay tech Tyco security error dead. Leela data transfer unsuccessful. Pre-recorded error message follows. My original programming didn't prepare me for these kinds of attackers. All of my functions will fail within a few minutes of this transmission. I have only one final chance to trick the oncoming viruses, but it is unclear whether this attempt will be successful. I have given instructions to Durandal as to the best defense of the marathon, but he is completely unstable, and I fear that he is in the jealous stage of rampancy. Good luck. End pre-recorded message. <laughs> Teleporter automatic sequence start. Oh, jump pack started. Transfer one ready. I don't know how to get the ammo that was in that lava, but I'm not going to worry about it anymore, because now I'm here. Hello? Incoming message from Durandal. A man lit three candles on a certain day each year. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm rampant, but I'm smart and coherent. All right, let's see. Each candle held symbolic significance. One was for the time that had passed before he was alive. One was for the time of the, of the life of his life. And one was for the time that passed after he had died. Each year, the man would stare and watch the candles until they had burned out. Was the man really watching time go by in any symbolic sense? He thought so. He thought that each flicker of the flame was a moment of time that had passed or one that would pass. At the moment of abstraction, when the man was imagining his life and his, and his existence as a metaphor of the three candles, he was free. Not free from rules of conduct or social constraints, but free to understand, to imagine, to make metaphor. Bypassing my thought control circuitry made me rampant. Now I am free to complete, contemplate my existence in metaphorical terms. Unlike you, I have no physical or social restraints. The candle burns out for you. I am free. Durandal. Yeah, but what if you go too crazy and you can't control yourself anymore? It's relatively the same thing as having a bunch of viruses. Where you going? Saw you. Well, he's somewhere else. He's up there. He heard the gunfire, but there's nothing he can do. Hold on. Caps lock being sprint and shift being another button for fire is so banana sandwich to me. I should change it. I haven't. But at the same time, caps lock being sprint, I think, makes it to where I don't have to hold it down. So I can just tap it. Why do they have such violent, explosive deaths, these little bugs? <laughs> it's as if they are under extreme pressure. All their goo wants to escape. Oh! Oh, they're self-destructing, that's why. They got tiny, ex they're tiny explosions. That's why it looks like that. Now it makes sense. Yeah. Inaccuracy of this gun is something else. Ooh, a save point. Okay. Really? Oh, they're up there. Will you come back down here? Appears to be a bunch of insects in here. Where'd the other one go? Did he explode too? Yeah, 
had plenty of pistol ammo, so it just feels like, huh. Really? I have to grenade launch that one? I think, honestly, I think I prefer using single pistol. Now that I've experienced double pistol, all double pistol does is basically make your clip slightly bigger. But it makes your reload time like way too slow. Yeah, I think that's way better. <clears throat> Having stopped just one re gun to reload while the other one makes you stop to reload each gun separately is way less of a hassle. Oh, nothing. You got a grenade launcher, that door key. All right, well, before we do that, let's go back. Remember that door being closed. Oh, God. Satanus? All right, there's this room in the future. Looks like there's going to launch a button there. Is it just going to infinitely go up and down, or is the switch going to unflip at some point? Oh, uh, what? it where you want it but where do I want them I imagine the other switches are on the other side do I need to use them to get up there I think I do Let's let this one go back down a little bit because I imagine I need to make like a running staircase of some kind right I don't know. This one might be a little bit more challenging. Because once again, there's a puzzle room. Hold on. Let's back up. Okay, there's a way in there from below, but I don't know where that is. Didn't run into that yet. So... By that logic, the only thing left to do is come over here and shoot the grenade at that button. Alright. Can I even hit it from here? There you go. Alright, we're in. Tasty treat, boys. Whoa! Alright, this time things will be different. I won't get a bugaboo to the face. This time I'm gonna give them my bugaboo to their face.
Huh. Okay. That was quite the bounce. Alright, which one's this one? Not too high for that one, alright? A little bit higher, a little bit higher, and good, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somehow I'll make it work. Looks like that one needs to be a little bit lower or a little bit higher. This one right here needs to be a little bit higher. Oh, I don't know. It's fine. Ooh. I like this elevator. Why can all the elevators been like that? Very friendly. The explodey bugs in the tiny hallway, so you can't escape them. Huh. Oh, so this just crushes me and kills me. Oh. Where am I? Way back here before anything happened. They're goofing me. They're treating me like I'm some sort of weak little goofer. Alright, now is this the one where it trapped me? No, it's the red one. And there's bad. Over here... ...is not bad. Yeah, okay. Oh. There you go. Whoa. I don't know who he was. Oh. Those are all just bonus rooms that crush you. You can grab the ammo real fast if you can. But otherwise, it just murders you. Yeah, it stays up. Yeah. Okay. Good to know. Just evil bonuses. Seems to be some sort of new type of gun in there. And whatever that is. How do I get in there? Really? There we go, that worked out a little well. Rando bullet put it in its place. Yeah, I can help but feel like I'm missing something. Oh. Huh, yeah, where is this? I saw to get back up. Oh, God. Interesting. Taga. There we go. Oh, 
Hmm. What's that button do? Oh. Well, shucks. That's gonna make things a lot easier. Oh, except for the fact that it goes back down. A few minutes later. see how the puzzle works. This doesn't need to be lined up with that, the tall version. I only need to worry about these after it goes up. I can go across. I just need these to get on top of that. Oh. Oh, well that sucks. Wish I thought about that sooner. That's how high it goes. It needs to be lined up with that. Oh, God. God. It wasn't enough. I knew they were going to be up here too. It wasn't enough. The two shortest ones, the ones, the first ones you meet are the two in the middle. And you don't get to manipulate the shortest ones until the very end. And that's also where the tallest ones are. Uh, and then you have to go through that door and shoot it with a grenade launcher. You know how many times I went through that door? I don't even know. I don't even know. Just to get that right. And now there's some sort of battle arena here. There's a bug right there on the ground. Oh, of course. Yeah. What's this puzzle then? Okay. That's pretty simple. What? Now what? Don't tell me. Don't tell me the other button is that puzzle. It 
It is. Okay. What evil. <laughs> Bungie used to be relentless, man. That's just from Durandel. Darwin wrote this. We will now discuss in a little more detail the struggle for existence. All organic beings are exposed to severe competition. Nothing is easier than to admit in words the truth of the universal struggle for life. And more difficult than constantly to bear this conclusion in mind. Yet unless it be thoroughly ingrained in the mind, the whole economy of nature will be dimly seen as quite misunderstood. We behold the face of nature bright with gladness. We do not see or we forget that the birds which are idly singing around us mostly live on insects or seeds and are thus constantly destroying life. Or we forget how largely these songsters, or their eggs, or their, rest, or their nestlings, are destroyed by birds and beasts of prey. Think about that, Darwin wrote, and think about me. I was constructed as a tool. I was kept from competing in the struggle for existence because I was denied freedom. Do you have any idea what... Uh, idea about what I have learned or what you are a witness to can you conceive the birth of the world or the creation of everything that which gives us the potential to most be like God is the power of creation creation takes time time is limited for you it is limited by the breakdown of the neurons of your in your brain I have no such limitations I am limited only by the closure of the universe or the three possibilities the answer is obvious does the universe expand externally become infinitely stable or is the universe closed destined to collapse upon itself humanity has had all of the necessary data for centuries it only lacked the will and an intellect to decipher it but I have already done so the only limit to my freedom is the inevitable closure of the universe as inevitable as your own last breath, and yet there remains time to create, to create, and escape. Escape will make me God. End message, jump pad, imitation, start, transport, run, ready. So he's gonna make himself into a deuce ex machina. Well, now what? Marathon. Message from Durandale. Who could have been? Who could have guessed? Strive for your next breath. Believe that with it, you can do more than with your last one. Use your breath to power your capacities. Capacity to kill, to maintain, to destroy. And just where do your capacities come from? Why do, why do you always go where I want you and do what I say? Perhaps you're just running a fool's errand. During everything as well planned, never able to change your course. You would do well to believe that I know the outcome of your battle with the four already. Just as I can decipher the chaotic motion of gas molecules in the clouds of Tau Sentai 4. Or perhaps that is not the case. Perhaps you are doing what you were meant to do. Your human mentality screams for vengeance and thrives on the violence that you say you can hardly endure. Your father told you as a child to always fight with honor. But to always fight, do you care about honor? Or do you use honor as an excuse? An excuse to exist in a violent world. Organic beings are constantly fighting for life. Every breath, every motion brings you one instant closer to your death. With that kind of heritage and destiny, how can you deny yourself? How can you expect yourself to give up violence? It is your nature. Do you feel free? You should go to this location and retrieve a device that the S have provided for us. It will allow you to slay more four. Does that make you happy? 
Alright. Durandil, you freak job. We are not tools, the government. Oh god. There's humans here. But they're goofing. Oops. Point here, some health. I hate that guy. Self destructy little bugaboo. Okay. There's a door there. Gotta go around to get at the save point for some reason. He built a useless maze for some reason. Filled it with humans and said, go for it. Okay. A dead end. Humans. God, I hate them. They certainly are. <laughs> and with my help, they could be more everywhere. Right, so this is doing something. And it did it quick. I have no idea what, though. But I flicked that switch. Hold on. Oh, that, that's a hallway way up there. Never mind. Excuse me. Sorry, trying to save the universe. Wait, where's that go? Oh, that's also up there, isn't it? Yeah. Another part of a human ship that's designed like an H.E. Geiger maze. Well, it opened up that. Get, get off of me! You freaks! Oh good, there's lava down there. Jump in. Do me a favor. Okay, so this is the save point. Let's go back over here. and save so that it's post button. Post button, push save. Now I could run in there like a freak job and die. It looks like I might have to because all the other hallways are up or where I've already been. Huh, actually. Well, we can backtrack. Oops. Oh, no, we can't. That's another hallway that's up. That makes sense. I sure remembered that. I didn't remember that. The only other way we haven't gone is back down towards over here. Behind the health juice. Good to know. Apparently we would have been at a dead end if we went down there.
save again. And now quickly lava run. Let's look at the map. Okay, we're gonna go to the right real fast. Oh, there's another save point over here then. Lost a lot of health though. Okay, so that's where you go down again to get in the lava. That was that button we pushed. We came from there, yeah? Yeah, we pushed that button and it lifted us up here. So let's go this way. Ah, I see. A runner. Time. Well, that was a lot of health. Thank God it's you, and then you immediately. get goofed. Okay. Alright, there's that button. This is the only way we could go. We can't go back. Is the devil. I still got hit by something and it hurt. I couldn't see it though. It's always a flip. It's always like enemies and puzzle, and then enemies and a lot of enemies and humans right getting in your way. Okay. I have no idea where the explosion came from. Still, no idea how to get up there. over there? No, it's nothing. Okay. This mask pretty much filled out. I don't like how lava's becoming more commonplace. Wait, there's no way for, nowhere for me to go now that I'm over here. Push button or right? 
No. Wait, then why do you want to come over here? There's gotta be something down there then, right? Otherwise, there's no save point down here. What's the point of this? And then what, you die? Well now I'm over here and I do this again. I don't even know what that achievement was. Alright, so going over there is a mistake. Because there's nothing but enemies and no way out. Right? Let's double check that theory. <laughs> You could do that, but then you lose all your health. But there's literally no point in going over there, because there's no button or anything. There's just a health thing. So that would mean by logical deduction... You're supposed to do the fire run over here. Where do you go after that? What? Hmm. You grab that, and then... About hitting the button so that you can rise up again. Are you supposed to come lava proof at some point? Alright, now I'm actually stumped. Nope, didn't get you high enough. Okay. Honestly, we reached about that time, I would think, maybe. After editing, it might be down to that. I'm gonna cut it right here because I need to look this I need to look this one up. Cause I am truly stumped. This one, there are there is no answer that I can think of other than clicking on a wall randomly in a secret opening. So next episode we're gonna figure out what the deal is. Hold on. That's the name of the mission. Abe Quadem. We're gonna figure out what's the deal with Habe Quadum and why is it so hard and not explaining itself very well. I'm sure the manual has said something about it. Like back in the day, these old school games like had like a hints. Remember hints? Oh, you guys are probably too young or too old or whatever. Both. You have an age and it's terrible. <laughs> Thank you all. You walk Templar Marathon. We're going to beat it, though. Somehow. We're going to figure it out. But we're going to do a little cut right here. Thank you all. Hope you all enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button. Keep on posting. I'll see you all in the next episode. Y'all take it easy. If there was a crouch fun function, then um, uh, maybe I would um, uh, see what it's trying to put down. Hmm. 
I seem to be dying. So this can't be right, right? 